Today I want to share with you 18 non-toy gift ideas for toddlers. Why non-toy gifts? Well, because I have had six children and I know how overwhelming toys can be. So if you are shopping for toddlers this year, here are some ideas that aren't going to be in the mainstream toy catalog. Number one, lessons and classes. There are so many things that our kids can benefit from. Swim, dance, gymnastics, martial arts. It doesn't mean that they have to commit to a full five years of doing this sport, but just having a few months to dip their toes in the water and see how it goes can be a lot of fun for little ones. Number two, memberships. Children's Museum, the zoo, YMCA, family gyms, those are all wonderful ideas. Number three, puzzles. I've always been surprised at how early little ones understand puzzles and really enjoy them. You could find wooden ones, two piece, three piece, four piece, all the way up to, you know, 20 pieces and beyond. And it's something that they can have a lot of fun doing and doing with you. So many, so many good skills are learned doing puzzles. Number four, books. I love sharing board books with little ones and reading helps their development so much. My favorite for this age is Sandra Boynton, but this year shopping for my granddaughter, I also found a book that she can pop as she's reading it. So how much fun is that? Number five, photo albums. Little ones love looking at pictures of family, friends, themselves. There's very many online photo shops that will print out books for you. Or you could just take your phone to the drugstore, print a bunch of pictures, and, and slide it into one of the inexpensive photo albums. And you won't have to worry about how they treat the book because this can be theirs. Number six, pajamas. I know many people do pajamas traditionally Anyway, they give the gift of pajamas on Christmas Eve and then the kids sleep in them that night and, and wake up in the morning all decked out for Christmas, which is, which is so much fun. My mom sews and one year she let the kids pick out their own flannel and, and Paul chose a pink flannel with green whales on it. It was the cutest thing ever and he loved it. Number seven, sprinklers. For those of us in the U.S., if we're looking at Christmas presents, this is not probably not a great one because, oh yeah, you have to wait like six months before you can use it. But if it's another time of year or if you're down in New Zealand or Australia, sprinklers are a blast. Number eight, bird feeder and seed. Having a bird feeder outside the window is very entertaining for kids to watch and it gets them interested in wildlife and you can help them recognize different bird species. Number nine, an artwork picture frame. Displaying our children's artwork is important and also very fun. But the t fridge tends to get filled up and parents at time feel guilty for throwing away anything. So it just stays on the fridge and builds up there. A hinged art frame hangs on the wall and it just allows you to change pictures out when they make a new one. Plus it holds about 50 pieces. So this is a great place to store those pictures. Number 10, a towel set. I know this seems not fun, but, but it's amazing how just normal everyday use items can really be special. One of my friends, her mother-in-law monograms the towels so the kids all have their towels with their names on it. For our family, we color code our towels so each child has their own special color and, and they loved having the matching bath towel and washcloth. Number 11, savings accounts or stocks. This might not seem very exciting to them right now, but when they are 18, they will love you for it. Number 12, music. Our kids have a Kindle, we have Amazon Music on there, and I created their own playlist and downloaded music that was relevant to their age group, to their interests, and our youngest, when he was a toddler, he loved taking that into his room and picking out different songs to listen to. Some of our favorites are Casper Baby Pants, Sandra Boynton songs, and Raffi. Number 13, their very own sleeping bag. Having their own special sleeping bag can make them so excited for sleepovers, camping, or any kind of trips you go on. My kids know exactly which sleeping bag is theirs, and when they're heading up to go visit grandma and grandpa, they're very excited to use them. Number 14, a piggy bank and coins. This may take some supervision, but all the little people I know absolutely love putting coins into the piggy bank. Number 15, shoes and boots. 
Snow boots and rubber boots are particularly helpful. Snow boots because snow always gets in the boots and they're always wet. So even if we have an extra pair, it works great for toddlers. But rubber boots are fun because they can slip them on and off themselves and they love splashing in puddles. My toddlers also enjoyed putting on their own Crocs and cowboy boots if they got them, that was pretty special. Number 16, play silks. I guess this is technically a toy, but I don't view it that way. My kids have loved using their play silks. Because it's made out of silk, it's light so you can make forts easily. It doesn't fall down when you're working with it. They wear capes when they were superheroes. They were princess gowns, skirts, dresses, wraps, blankets for their baby dolls. They did so much with those. Number 17, math counters. When I had toddlers, I went to the school supply store and I got a bunch of animal math counters. They were all different colors and the kids had so much fun lining them up with all the sheep and all the cows and all the ducks or picking out the different colors. They stuck them in their Play-Doh when they played Play-Doh. We got a lot of use out of those. Number 18, donations. Children understand so much more than we give them credit for. And if you explain that some people don't have food to eat, clean water to drink, or a warm place to sleep, they're normally very willing to help out. And when we did this for our family, I sat down with the kids. We went online to World Vision or Compassion International, and we scrolled through everything that was available. The kids ended up picking out what they wanted to do and we sent a group of chickens to a village. They were so excited that they got to participate in that and give a gift to somebody else that could really use it. There we go, my 18 non-toy gifts for toddlers. In the next video, I will share non-toy gifts for children, so the next age up. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that one. And if you want some ideas for very meaningful gifts that don't break the bank, watch this video right here.